Hi Taurus, this is Eileen with your November 2020 <clears throat> Psychic Tarot Card Reading. And you're starting the month of November with the Chariot card. That's a major Arcana Destiny card. And uh, the Chariot is talking about taking control of the Chariot, focusing on what you want, and propelling yourself forward. So it's like you're in the driver's seat. And um, what I'm getting from this, and this is a general reading, so some of these cards may resonate with you while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances, and I am reading the meanings of the cards as well as tuning in on a psychic level. <clears throat> but with the chariot, it's saying that, hey, it's up to you to move things forward for yourself, move your life, your plans, your goals, your dreams, whatever. Or if you've been bogged down, because I'm getting a certain amount of that from some Taurus, feeling like they've gotten bogged down, maybe with responsibilities or different challenges and things like that. But it's like you really have to get focused on where you want to go, what it is you want, and then look straight ahead and start propelling yourself, propel that char uh, chariot forward, because uh, that's the big message here. It's not going to move by itself, okay? And I do get a sense for some Taurus, there might be um, a matter of you holding back and not pushing forward as strongly as you could right now because you're waiting on something or someone. I tend to believe this might have to do with a relationship matter where you, there might be someone you're waiting on. You want them to join you or you want them to be fully on board with you and they've been distracted otherwise with their own circumstances. But what I'm getting very strong here is you really need to focus on your goals and start moving yourself forward. And if they want to catch up to you later, then let them if you still want them to. But I'm feeling that if whoever I'm tuning in for with that particular situation, that person's totally distracted with whatever. And you are in a completely different place, ready to get, get all your details, get all your plans ready and go forward. Um, Next card, Six of Swords. And this could even tie in with this chariot for some Taurus. Six of Swords is about moving on to calmer waters, moving on to better circumstances for yourself. This could be in a romantic relationship, but in some cases it's got to do with some living arrangement that you've been in or possibly a work situation that hasn't been working well for you. Whatever it is, it's like You've had this sense that you're moving through this situation. Now, you still might be there. You might have one foot forward and one foot still in the past, soon to be past, but still maybe part of your present. And um, But you're looking straight ahead. It's like you just want peace in your life. And maybe you've had some extra stress challenging situations dealing with people possibly is what I'm getting here for some Taurus and it could be I'm getting different scenarios for different people so it could be a work situation for some um, a living arrangement for others a romantic relationship or what's what what once was romantic and kind of um, turned into something more uncomfortable so it is best for you to move on and you're just doing it. You're just moving forward little by little. And um, even if you don't know everything that lies waiting ahead, you know it's time to move on. And it, that's a good place to be, just to be clear-headed and move forward, even if there's still some mixed emotions attached to it and maybe some stressful feelings around that situation. It might take a while to work yourself, work your way completely out of it and onto your fresh beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Next card you have is Eight of Pentacles. And the Pentacles do relate to the Earth signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is one of your cards. This is a good little um, line of cards here. You've even got the Empress there. Um, so you've got some good trends going on. Eight of Pentacles is about working at your craft or learning your craft. 
So some of you might be new in a career or a job, or you might have a business you're working on, a business you're just starting up. Maybe you actually do make things or create things somehow, or you might be in school taking classes for this career you're going to have. Whichever it is for you, you're laying a solid foundation for yourself and it's going to pay off big time for you as time goes on. It might be paying off for you right now. You're learning your craft very well. All the details should be in very detail-oriented, very attentive to all the different details of your work that you're doing, so you know you're just absorbing it completely throughout your entire being so that it resonates with you and the profits and potential are going to uh, in turn resonate with your being um, gradually bringing about success for you over time. So I'm getting a lot of solid, good, strong energy from this card. Now in some cases this could even relate in a more romantic sense with someone that could be in your life around November, whether you've known this person a little while or you're just meeting them, this could be a possible romantic partner for you going forward who has these traits who's involved like this in their craft. And they might also be another earth sign like you. So, but otherwise this could very well be you in November. <clears throat> Next card, King of Swords. The swords do relate to the air signs of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. King of Swords is someone in a position of power of some sort or influence or authority, like an authority figure. So this person could be a manager or an owner of a place you work. They might own some other business you go to, or it could just be a neighbor or something for that matter, but they're kind of in a position of authority. This person is very critical of other people. They're always sizing people up and uh, critiquing people, whether in their own mind or right out verbally. And they don't care if they come across insulting somebody. It's like, if this is a manager or an owner of a business you would work in, they don't, it's like people know what this person's about. They know that they might even try to avoid them if they can, <laughs> or they try to just be non-controversial around this person because they don't want them uh, the repercussions otherwise. So um, this person, um, for some Taurus, this King of Swords figure as a person could be um, watching you carefully. I'm even feeling, even though I don't feel like they have it out to get you or anything like that, I'm, I feel like they might be watching you, whether it's at your workplace or maybe it's a neighbor. It might be an owner of a business you go to. They're kind of being looking at you, kind of being lustful is what I'm feeling like. And this person could be married and everything else, not that you would want to be with them. But that's the energy I'm getting from this card. Um, this could also be somebody you would just be dealing with in general in business. And they're hard to please if you're doing business with them in some way. Whether it's in a work situation or applying for a loan at a bank or whatever, this person's hard to please because they feel like they've had a tough time. And so they don't want to make it easy for other people. It's like misery loves company. Okay, next card you have is the Empress card, and this is another major arcana card. This is a good two together, the Chariot and the Empress, because the Empress is all about um, sowing your seeds and bringing them to fruition. Um, it's I get balance, balancing your life, having prosperity and success, abundance, having it all together working hard so that you've attained a certain amount of success. You get to enjoy a certain amount of luxuries, whether they're small luxuries or big luxuries. And you work very hard for everything you have, but you want to have a balanced life. So you want to balance your work with your personal life, your recreation, whatever your personal creative interests are. I feel like you have a lot of creativity inside of you. And uh, you're taking great pride in all the your interests, your projects you're working on, your work you do, um, your home, your home environment. Just having things the way you want them 
to make you feel good, to make you feel prosperous and secure, enjoy your home, enjoy what you have, even your clothing, like just being very conscientious about who you are, who you've grown to be, and you've worked and put out the effort every step of the way to get where you are. And now you know very well, no one's handed anything to you. So you deserve every uh, bit of abundance and goodness you have in your life. And this is all about that. I get a wonderful feeling. Now, sometimes this Empress card can refer to a pregnancy. So some Taurus might actually be pregnant in the month of November. But um, it's all about being who you are from your heart and soul and working to get what you want in your life and enjoying the rewards that you've been working for, not just being a workaholic, but stopping and, you know, having that balance so you can enjoy what you have. And I always recommend everybody learn about the law of attraction because some people are going to say, well, I'm not doing well and I'm having a hard time right now. But the more you embody these kind of emotions of the empress of feeling like they are in control of their life, like you're in control of your life and you're bringing about your own abundance, you're working and making your plans and setting your goals and feeling prosperous, feeling successful being grateful for all you have, the more you do that, the more the universe opens up and brings those conditions into your life. So to make it where you really know, okay, now I'm going where I want. Next card you have is the Three of Cups. This is all about celebrations. So in the month of November, you might finally just get into a nice holiday spirit. We all need to start feeling joyful and celebrating. We've had some difficult months. Um, uh, every so many people have all over the place. So we all need to be joyful and lighthearted and just set those problems on the side for a while. And the more you can feel joy in your heart and be in a celebratory mood, even if you're not out celebrating in a group of people, you can be celebrating within yourself in your own home or with your close friends or family. And just having that carefree feeling. And that's what this is showing in November for you, Taurus. Just being free to celebrate and be lighthearted. Be grateful for all the good you have in your life. Some Taurians, you're going to be even in a nice romantic relationship. You might be engaged or getting married in November. I'm getting a lot of romance going on here too. Or for others, I'm feeling like you're single, but you're just having a good time and being happy about the person you are and having fun, whether it's on your own or with your friends or relatives and feeling good and feeling lighthearted. And this is a wonderful energy to put out into the universe. When you put out this kind of energy, miracles happen. Miracles are created because you're just letting your spirit be free and soar. And that's what you need to do to create the magic and the miracles that you want for yourself in your life. Next card you have is Four of Wands. This ties in here with the celebratory mood. Four of Wands is about having a nice celebration with family or loved ones or friends. And I'm getting romance all over this card. Um, true love. Some of you might actually be getting married in November, you know, or maybe in great age or if not that, maybe having a little time away with a, a, a romantic partner or loved ones or it could be with family or close friends. Um, it's just a nice gathering. It's getting together with loved ones and not worrying about all the day-to-day -day problems and challenges and feeling good. But for some of you, I'm getting real love and romance here. So some Tars, you have found the right person or they have found you is what I should say, because I feel like they were the ones who found you, whether you know that or not. Um, this person is very sincere and down to earth for whoever I'm tuning in for, and they are going to be proving to you and showing you in the, their actions, their feelings, and that you're the one they want. They don't need to search for anybody else. They don't need to be looking out around to see what else is out there. It's like, and this kind of person I'm looking at, they, they're not like that anyway. They're just very down to earth and honest. They just want to be with one person at a time. They don't want to be juggling partners or any of that. But for some Taurus, it's the time for you now 
to be with that right person. Maybe you've already been with them recently and gotten to know them, or you might just be meeting them around November, maybe December, maybe January. I'm just getting happy love energy around here. Um, so a number of Taurus, apparently you're going to have some nice love coming into your life. And for those of you that it's not the right time for that, you're just going to be feeling good about who you are. And there's nothing wrong with that because you need to feel good about yourself anyway to attract the right person to you. So, but you're going to have whoever this is applying to, this person is going to be showing you, showing you that you're the one they want to be with. Whether they're proposing for your lifetime to be together or maybe just to move in together or maybe just being there. They say they're going to be there, they're there. They say they're going to call, they call. It's real. And uh, you can't put a price tag on that. Next card, last card, Two of Swords. Okay, this is about feeling torn between two people or two situations. So for some Taurus, by the end of the month, you might be feeling you've got to make a decision. Some of you might actually be dating two different people and need to make a decision between the two. And you don't know what to do because I'm getting for some Taurus who are in this position at the end of or somewhere in November, maybe at the end, that you really are torn in this situation. It's like, well, this is a good thing here. That is a good thing. I don't know which one to pick. Um, I'm feeling like the more you just back up and be calm and listen to your feelings, one will emerge as the better choice for you. Now, in some cases, this might be choosing between two friends who are at odds with one another and you don't want to pick a side. In other cases, this might be, it could be two romantic partners. It could be two jobs. It could be two uh, family members arguing about something or other. Two circumstances, two choices. One will reveal itself is what I'm getting here. The advice of this card is to remove the blindfold. Step back. Look at your circumstances objectively. Just be calm. Listen to your intuition as well as what your intellect is telling you. And make a good, solid decision for yourself. And don't let anybody do a sales job on you. Because the, the one person, situation, it may still try to convince you. But I'm getting very strong energy. It's going to become clear to you which one is the best for you. Okay. So, because one choice is much more solid than the other. It's just initially they both might be looking pretty solid. Okay, now this deck I've been using, this is the Gilded Tarot by Cheryl Marchetti. What I want to do now is pick one card from Magical Mermaids and Dolphins by Doreen Virtue. So, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Taurus for the month of November? And if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel. And thank you if you've already subscribed. And hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Also, check your rising moon sign videos as they're coming available in case something might uh, resonate with you in, in one of those. And uh, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, so Magic and Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Taurus for the month of, of November? This says make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. I like that. Make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. Great card. Okay, now I've got the Angel Answers Oracle cards by Radley Valentine. So be thinking of a question you have in your mind or some situation you might want some insight or an answer about. And I'll shuffle this deck and just be thinking about what kind of question or maybe if it's some dilemma you're dealing with and you want some kind of guidance on it or an answer. Okay, angels, what is your message for Taurus for the month of November? What is your message for Taurus for the month of November? Okay, let me fan these out. Okay. Hmm. It says perfect timing. Cards are so beautiful. Look at all these brilliant colors and images in these. Perfect timing. I hope that helps <laughs> with your question or your situation. Okay, it's a general reading. So like I said, some cards may resonate while others do not. 
All right, and last but not least, I'm going to pick one card from Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. So, Angels, what is your message for Taurus for the month of November? What is your message for Taurus for November? Give it another shuffle or two, and then we'll fan these out. Okay, I'll give it one more shuffle and fan these out. What is your message for Taurus? Okay, let's see. Archangel Raphael, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. That's a good message. I like that. Okay. All right. Well, Taurus, I hope you're happy with your reading for the month of November. Um, be sure and check your rising and moon sign videos as they're coming available. And uh, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Have a wonderful November. Get into the holiday spirit. We need to have some joy and holiday <laughs> spirit in our lives. And um, we'll talk again soon.